Okay, we have this HP laptop. There's a crack in it, and we are going to see if we can improve it at all using JB Weld. So the first step is going to be to clean off the area. I'm going to use some alcohol, rubbing alcohol to do it. I've got a cotton swab here. And GB Weld is made up from two parts, and we mix them together to make our special epoxy here. See, there's little metal on here. You can open it with the lid, just push down. All right, now we're just going to mix this all together. Now I'm just going to carefully start applying this some of the crack area. Okay. Really, I'm just trying to work it down in the crack the most I can without causing any further damage. Better to use too little than too much. Careful not to get too close to the button. A little bit of cleanup. I think it would set better if I could just put keep this pressed down. I might get a clamp, a really small one. All right, and that's it. I'm just gonna leave it like this overnight and uh, See how it comes back tomorrow. Really, it should be 24 hours to really let it set. Interesting to see how it's holding up. Okay, it's dried now, and it feels a little bit more solid, but it's not perfect. It still puts stress, especially when you open like this on this back end. So, I'm also gonna add some Gorilla Tape to this. I have to be careful not to cover up the SD slot on the side here. So I'm starting with an oversized piece of tape here. The tape is going to extend around. Gosh, I'd like to get it in deeper if I can. Now I can start manipulating it. Oh, I actually don't want it to cover up any of the ventilation holes. Okay, now one thing else I'd like to try is using one of these binder clips. Seeing if I can just place this over the edge and then pull out the arms here. To have like a sturdy little clamp that grabs on. Now we got these bumps up here that I might want to see if I can unravel. And to remove the loops that the arms connected into, I found it was easiest just to take a pair of wire snips and clip them off once I have it on the laptop. Just be careful. Now I just want to put another piece of tape over that area to make it a soft landing spot. Another thing I'm slightly worried about is this clip falling off, so I want to actually put some tape on the bottom here too. Hold it in place a little bit.
And it does shut, although not perfectly. You can hold it shut. So it does interfere a little bit, but it does look a lot stronger. And that's it, it's done. We'll see how well it holds up over time, but it feels pretty sturdy.